Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and we're here with Jess. She's back a weekend and we're making good use of her being back. Liv and Rory. And we are about to rescue bulls from the flood. It has been miserable here in Ireland. We've had a lot of rain. How much rain in the last 24 hours? What did it say? 38 Eight, mil. Eight 37. 37 mil. So over an inch of rain, well over an inch of rain. And the bulls, the bottoms is currently flooded. We'll show you again there. There could be 15-ish acres underwater. And the bulls where they are is gone, is flooded. And the grass that they were to go to next is flooded as well. So the decision has been made to put them in the shed till the flood goes away. Whether that is um, in a couple of days or next spring. We don't know, <laughs> but we will find out, unfortunately. You'll make this video good if you got the kayak out. <laughs> oh my God. So just pumping up the tire on the 35. Great to have portable air on the 99. We just want to um, scrape down this side. We're going to put them in here for however long it is. We have three bulls we're feeding for the farm shop that side. But the other guys are going to go in here. We just want to clean it up a little bit, scrap it down. Um, but yeah. Oh, just putting cattle in in July. July is like the height of the summer. And here we are in Ireland putting cattle in because we're flooded. <sighs> Better put them in than have them swimming or tramping. So yeah, the joys of it. So we're on our way down to get the bulls yard set up. Just get to tear off on another job. But um, you can see the flood at the minute. Now you can't get a good scale of it. But uh, also excuse the combine header. Um, it's waiting to go into the shed now if it cleaned out. But um, we were planning on putting them out there where the combine header is. But everything the other side of them, the clump as we call it, the lock of trees. Jesus. <laughs> I lose me wellies here. Um, is completely waterlogged. And they'll end up poaching that and there's not a lot of grass out there to keep them. So hence, well, it was Father Phil's plan, they will put them in. But I'm all on board for it. We were going to feed them out of the shed just up there. But they just got poached. So we, we go for the shed. The calves. We had a batch of calves on the lower paddock, the bottom squares we call it, and that is nearly fully underwater. We moved them yesterday, so me and Liv are quite um, happy with ourselves that we moved them. They got moved on to the next paddock up, which has a good bit of grass on it, and um, just doesn't flood. Takes a bit more water for it to flood, so they should be grand there for a while. But the boys down here, it was a toss up moving them yesterday or today and we said we'd move them today but I was not expecting the water to come up as quick as it has so we'll show you what it's like down here but it may not be over hectic now what's the bets will it be plowed yeah, yeah? will it be plowed yeah i'm going to be optimistic and say no because there's a heavy cover of grass down here it's not plowed hey i didn't put a fiver on it oh well it is like oh, a lake. <laughs> it's a lake though. It is a... There's ducks! Look how many ducks is out there! Should have bought the fishing rod. Should have brought a kayak. Look at all the ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ducks. But this actually ground is held up, but as you can tell, they have it eaten. And they are in water. So um it's time to Here, six six! Hi! Nelly, you're not going to need to move them, they'll move themselves. We'll bring them into the yard, into the shed. But yeah, I wasn't expecting the water to come up as quick. And you can see the next paddock over is flooded as well. And that is the problem we always have here. We get a wet spell, the river can be very quick to come up and flood the ground. Jeez, there's a wild pile of ducks out there, look at them all taken off. I know, call them there, Liv. Hi. You're the pipe piper. Good boys! Lad's coming up behind us now. Good boys! So, the batch of bulls that's here is our smallest, Good. our lightest bulls. And the reason for that is we get our best growth rates at home because we have the most amount of receding has been done in the past. That's what we think anyways. So, we leave them at home Good. to get the best 
the bus them all wait on them to try and get them to catch up with the other guys. Karen! Roy is bringing up the back there. And Nelly. And Nelly. So yeah. We do have grass for them. Karen! We're not having grass. It's just the grass is underwater. As you can see behind us there. That's why Karen! we have to put them in. So, oh, the joys of an Irish summer. Or lack thereof, joys. Oh. There's Robert coming in now, do a bit of work on the fusion first. New shaft to go on it, along with some, the new round for the back door, and we have a leak in a block too, so. Yeah, some good bulls on it, some bad bulls on it, but. Come on. Oh, in the shed, in the middle of July. Uh, can show me in the passageway. Yeah. 15th of July. The cattle are in the shed. It's depressing. And that's the lads in. They were just giving them a bit of barley. A bit of a treat. So, this is the last bale of stuff we brought back. Oh, jeez, that yoke is heavy. There's the last bit of grass we brought back from last day's bale, and we'll shovel that into them. And we'll shove this bale of hay in. For another bale at the other end. And then, um, yeah. We see how many days it is before we let them back out, but not not liking me chances now. Oh, the joys of an Irish summer. Hello. So now, everyone, we're just in the middle of moving the cattle up the from the shrubbery onto the bridge. So the bridge is currently flooded across the river. So this is our best way of being able to do this. Now it's just bring them down the road. Come on, set. So that's what we're at now, just trying to get them brought across. So Liver, Liver Rory and Kate are bringing up the rear. I'm bringing up the front. Rose just turning them down here. And then my job is turn them into the multi-species sword. So that's where they're heading now. So I'm going to show you the multi-species sword when we get them on it. Bang! Six! Six! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That way, lads. Come on. That way. Out of boys. <laughs> Cows are looking really well. Here's Paddy Lass coming, Twix as he's called. So we pulled Koh on him while we had the heavy rain just to help keep him warm. Well, he has come too since. He's not doing too bad, but come on, Twixie. Go here to your friends. So we want to get a wire. We'll just walk around and show you just inside the gate. Now, ground is very tender out here because it's fresh reseed, all the rain we've had. Wouldn't want to be going out here with a tractor, that is for sure. But as you can tell, it looks lovely from the field or the road smashing. But when you come out in here, there is a pile of red shank. Red, this is red shank here. There is, a, there is any amount of it. It's literally just a field of red shank nearly. It's quite bad. This side of the field is worse. You go over that way, it's not as bad. But there's nothing we can do for it. Um, if we spray it to try and kill the red shank, we're going to kill our plantain and our chicory, which you can see all the clover coming up there. I think that could be some of the chicory there. There's some of the plantain there. So we can't kill this without killing what we wanted in it. So the calves, I don't think will eat it. But the plan is the calves are going to nibble the grass, nibble the bit of chicory, the plantain. We're going to get the grass to kind of dense out. So at the minute the grass is just single shoots but when that gets eaten it'll till or it'll spread to kind of give it a bit of a sod we'll have to come in once the calves have it eaten and then top it and the one topping will kill all the red shank over it it won't come back the reason there's so much red shank is this was in tillage for three years after we bought it and even historically this would have been in tillage in the 60s and 70s um so now we're just going to get fenced and we're going to give them the half of it. reason for giving them the half is so that it's a larger area with less feet on it so it shouldn't do any damage to the ground. Ground is soft enough now. Um, if we give them too small an area there is the risk they could poach it a little bit. That's the risk. So um, yeah, that's, that's, so, um, that's why we didn't bring them this way because that's far too risky. Well it's not too bad. There was a good strike on it. It looks pretty good. So it's just time for the calves to nibble that grass, get that grass to tiller, to densen itself out a bit. 
and then to come in with whatever it, we may end up having to top this with the 35 and the finger bar more because it's it's soft and just cut all that red shank it's the only way that's going to get rid of it so we're putting the lads back out of the shed now great to see them going back out they are a bit dirty now the shed bulls in the cubicle shed never goes that well because we spend most of the time riding they put a lot of muck up on themselves so we'll just get them out through the castle we had to show him the pigs while we've done this the pigs are out here Berta or not Berta Becky and Bruce love, love birds so these are going out onto the shrubbery where we had a batch of calves rotating come on Shh. but the original plan was to put these down where the flood was the flood has gone down but it's still very wet down there so we changed up what we we're going to do so these are going out into shrubbery which is the driest bit of ground of the grazing platform at home so the, the calves had one square left to eat so these are going on to that we might get two or three days out but then we'll drop the fence let them graze the whole field and um, eat it tight and then they'll go back to where the rotation was the other side of the river so there's huge grass out here now <coughs> and there's grass then coming back on the four paddocks below them but we'll take down the wires and let them have it all when they've this be heating so oh they won't be long cleaning up and filling their bellies they were on hay and half a barrel of meal a day just to give them that extra bit and they've, look they've held their condition that's about the height of it now maybe lost a bit but they're back out now that's the main thing so <laughs> you have to film that too so um yeah so on the home farm at the minute I think we've um there's 36 acres of tillage there's 101 acres altogether so there's 30 no 65 acres of grassland on the bottoms and Everton bar this field here is bottoms it's all wet wet light low lying ground and at the minute we're feeding three batches of 60 and a batch of it 48 here so we're feeding a lot of cattle on a relatively small amount of ground so we're really getting getting the most out of it and we're cutting silage off it too there's the stony field we have we give about three acres to the calves and then the rest is for cutting so there's about nine acres to cut off that so we really are getting good return on the home ground and we've still lots of receding to do to really bring it on that extra bit but um yeah it's great to see them back out sun is shining they're away combining at the minute rory's getting ready to put in the gorilla rape and yeah it's all systems ago so we've that's all the calves move now for the next rotation of movements so um yeah we'll pick it up again whenever we're back at cattle is there anything else to say i don't think so so anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video it was a bad start cattle going in in the middle of july but we're back out now and hopefully they can stay out forecast is a little bit more settled than it was so fingers crossed they don't have to go back in till sometime in October will be our plan for these guys. These are our smallest batch of bulls we have. We keep these out for as long as possible. So we're going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.